In the high mountain village of San Miguel, where the winters were long and the nights dark, the people awaited the festival of lights with hope in their hearts. Each year, they gathered in their small adobe church, bringing gifts to celebrate the light that shines even in the coldest of seasons. For young Ana Maria, this was the most special time of all, but she worried, for her family was poor and she had no gift to give. Little did she know that her simple wish, given with love, would soon light up the night and inspire a miracle that would be remembered for generations. The Legend of the Star Flower In a small mountain village called San Miguel, nestled high above a dark green valley, winter was a season of special celebrations. Each year, as the first snow blanketed the pines and rooftops, the villagers held their festival of lights. It was a time to gather, give thanks, and celebrate hope, even as the nights grew long and cold. For Anna Maria, a young girl with gentle eyes and a heart full of dreams, the festival of lights was her favorite night of the year. But this year, as the festival drew closer, she felt worried. Each family was expected to bring a gift to the village church's altar. Some families brought woven blankets, while others brought candles or baskets of food. Anna Maria's family was poor and barely had enough for themselves. They didn't have anything grand to give. One frosty evening, Anna Maria walked down the cobblestone path from the church, her mind full of worry. She watched her friend Marisol help her parents carry a large woven basket filled with tamales. Another family brought jars of honey and loaves of bread. Anna Maria longed to bring something beautiful, something meaningful, but she had nothing to give. As she made her way back, Anna Maria heard a gentle voice call out to her. Anna Maria, come here, said Senor Santiago, her elderly neighbor, who was known for his love of plants and stories. She looked up to see him holding a woven basket filled with radiant red flowers. Their bright petals seemed to shimmer under the pale winter moonlight. What are those flowers, Senor Santiago? I've never seen such beautiful blooms in winter. Ana Maria exclaimed, her face lighting up. These are star flowers. He explained, his voice deep and kind. They are rare and magical, Ana Maria. It's said they hold a light all their own, a light that comes from the heart. Ana Maria felt something stir within her. If only I could bring one to the church. She whispered, But I have nothing to offer. Senor Santiago nodded thoughtfully and reached into his basket. He handed her a single star flower, its delicate red petals glowing faintly. Take this one, Ana Maria. Perhaps it will show you the way. Ana Maria carefully carried the flower home, cradling it like a treasure. That night, she placed it beside her bed and whispered a wish hoping that the single star flower would be enough. She fell asleep, dreaming of stars and light. When morning came, the air was filled with excitement. Villagers hurried to the church to decorate the altar and prepare for the festival of lights. Children ran through the snow, bundled in colorful scarves, while the elders lit candles in the church, filling it with a warm glow. As night fell, Anna Maria dressed in her warmest clothes and walked with her mother to the church. Inside, the altar was nearly overflowing with gifts, golden loaves of bread, woven blankets, and candles of every shape and size. Anna Maria felt a pang of sadness. Her single flower seemed so small compared to the other gifts. But she remembered Senor Santiago's words and held the star flower close. Taking a deep breath, she walked up to the altar and placed it among the other offerings, closing her eyes as she whispered, This is all I have to give, but I give it with all my heart. Suddenly, a hush fell over the church. One by one, the villagers turned their gaze toward the altar. The single star flower Anna Maria had placed there began to glow brighter, its light growing warmer and stronger, filling the entire room with a golden radiance. As the villagers watched in awe, something miraculous happened. The single flower started to multiply, spreading across the altar like a wave of bright red stars. Soon, the entire altar was covered with star flowers, each one glowing as if it held a tiny flame. The whole church was bathed in a soft, magical light. From that night on, 
The star flower became the symbol of hope and kindness in San Miguel. Every winter, the villagers would remember the miracle and bring star flowers to the church, each bloom a reminder that even the smallest gift, given with love, could bring light to the darkest of nights. The moral of the legend of the star flower is that true generosity comes from the heart, not from the value or size of the gift. Even a small, humble offering given with love and sincerity can bring warmth, hope, and light to others. The story reminds us that kindness and selflessness, even in modest forms, have the power to create beauty and inspire miracles, especially when shared within a community. And so, from that winter night forward, the star flower became a cherished symbol of love and light in San Miguel. Each year, the villagers would gather around the altar filled with glowing star flowers, remembering Anna Maria's humble gift and the miracle it inspired. They knew then, as they know now, that the true spirit of the Festival of Lights was not found in the wealth of their offerings, but in the warmth of their hearts. And as long as they gave with love, the village would forever be illuminated, even on the darkest nights. Thank you so much for joining me on this magical journey through the legend of the star flower. I hope you felt the wonder and warmth of this beautiful story just as much as I did. If you enjoyed it, please give this video a thumbs up, leave a comment, and share it with your friends and family. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more enchanting tales and adventures. Until next time, keep dreaming and stay curious.